Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden, guys. To the behind me right now, there is the follow-up video that I show you guys my previous video about compost, uh, and that's my compost bin right here. I used outside. I'm gonna turn around and show you guys so you guys could see, guys. So this is a spot. My garden is over there. Uh, there's nothing in the garden, and then my compost bin is right here. So this is my compost bin right here, guys. It's a hot mess. Uh, it's it's a nice day out here today. So um, basically. Uh, it comes with a stand and everything and uh, it's not that big I'll show you guys from the side as you guys can see right there There's dogs out so basically guys if you come closer hopefully you guys could see so it shows there's a sign is a time sign and there's a plus sign so the plus sign is where you add stuff from the time is uh you know where it been sitting down so guys this been with a whole winter time it been here uh yesterday I actually dumped some stuff inside uh, everything was frozen due to the colder weather but now the weather's getting really nice so guys basically let me open it up and show you guys so uh, so as you guys could see nope doesn't really smell smell like cabbage actually so you could see i have uh all my uh garden stuff right here um i really have to throw some more uh brown stuff in here so guys if you want to learn more about you know um doing your own compost i'm gonna leave the video they'll end or check on your top screen right now i'm gonna leave the link for all how you do all your mixing and stuff but uh basically this is this is the stuff that i recently add inside and you come over here these are stuff that added a while back but um as you could see the eggshells that i told you guys i did not get to crush those and um in here you could tell i need some more brown and i need definitely need more water to keep it more moist so i'm gonna add some water guys if you see it's dry like this it's always good to add a little bit of water and then mix it around so over here i'm gonna add more brown which is the carbon stuff like cardboard dry leaves and stuff like that in here and this way and water so it's going to speed up the process and after i add the water guys you close it and if you look with this compost i have air coming through there and then if you come to the other side i do have the same oh better leave that open i have air coming access there and you could just grab guys this literally you could grab here or here and you just spin it literally just just keep spinning it so this is the actual size i'm standing next to it so you can see how big it is i'll leave guys check in the link in the description box below i'm gonna leave all the details and i'm gonna leave the link on amazon where i got this so you guys could go ahead and check it out check out the price and the dimension the size and everything like that and i'm telling you guys you got great review on amazon and i'm telling you personally i had it over a year ago and it does amazing job it's not expensive it's really cheap guys compared to a lot but you could always build your own one but this was easy because when you build your own stuff you have to actually come out every three four days and mix your compost so i come out every three or four days and i just literally just turn it like this guys if you if you watch prices right and you see that big wheel and it's not hard you just spin it and the good thing to have all these grooves in here so you can just put your hand and you just keep spinning around a couple times just like this and basically you're mixing everything up into one but i'm gonna go get some water and i'm gonna add it in quick rundown um you gotta make sure you have carbon which is the browns which is also you have which is uh dry leaves cardboard and wood chip and stuff like that you need a lot more than your greens which is the nitrogen which is your stuff your scrap your kitchen scrap so your kitchen scrapper stuff like you know potato peels, uh, carrots, peel, uh, any leftover greens or vegetable stuff, coffee grind. Guys, make sure you add eggshell. I know a lot of people do not like to add it, but it gives you a big boost of calcium. So the best way to get eggshell, guys, you have to blend it. You blend it up or crush it up really, really small pieces. Eventually, it will decompose and you're going to have amazing compost, guys. And you guys got to remember, for a garden, for gardeners like myself, making homemade compost is the best thing out there, guys. You add this to your 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 garden. You could add it to your fertilizer. This is you, this is basically your fertilizer, and it's organic. And you know what you put inside, so you know what you get in inside. So if you have like dead, basically if you had like you know old soil from last year and stuff like that, you just add a bunch of this to it. 
and then you bring it back to life and you're gonna see your plant will grow faster and you're gonna have less like rotten uh, peppers or anything like that because this you have everything inside from calcium to nitrogen to everything inside so all you're gonna need so all you're gonna do is basically add this to your plant and just water it and watch it grow simple and easy guys so there's no way you could lose from doing your own compost it's simple it's easy and just save all your kitchen stuff guys but uh, but another thing very important do not add any milk any dairy stuff any meats fish nothing like that guys all right check in the description box i'm gonna leave some stuff what you guys could add and so you know what to add inside and um check out my other video that i did guys it'll help you guys and don't forget 100 percent free to subscribe also click on the bell icon so when i upload a video guys you'll get it right away you'll get a notification saying that green tea garden you know just green tea garden just upload a, a video and it might be a problem that you're having or might be something that you need to learn about or know and hey my video is there so guys don't forget it's 100 percent free any question you have about this compost bin just comment below guys i always try my best to answer your question